my name is Claire. I could not figure out what video to film this week and then I realized this one is something I've had in my back pocket for a while. I've seen it on YouTube already. But I'm going to be living like my Enneagram for a day. The Enneagram is a personality test that aims to reveal how emotions drive our lives and how we engage with others in an effort to get what we want and need. The Enneagram defines nine personality types, each with its own set of strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities for personal growth. Your Enneagram type reveals what motivates you on a very deep level and illuminates the path you must take to achieve a higher level of self-actualization. Um, I first heard about the Enneagram test last fall in Tennessee. My big told me about it. And I did take the Enneagram test back then. I think I've taken it twice now. However, I've changed a lot since last fall. This is going to be the last time I take this test because I've gotten so many different answers. So whatever I get this time is going to be my Enneagram and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I just haven't had the time to sit down and retake the test. So today we're going to take the test. It's already 12 o'clock, so I'm not going to be living like my Enneagram today. I'm actually going to be doing that tomorrow, but I am going to take the test today. Um, so that's what we're sitting down and doing right now, the Enneagram personality test. I just finished taking the test. I haven't even looked at my results yet. So the graph below shows how you scored for each of the nine types. My type in depth. Your primary type is seven, in a nutshell. Sevens are defined by their desire to experience everything good and pleasurable that the world has to offer while avoiding pain, boredom, and limitations. I live a lifestyle of very happy things and positivity, and so it kind of makes sense that I am a seven. I want to experience everything good. It's kind of great, I kind of love this. Okay, continuing. Although sevens appear enthusiastic and fun-loving, deep down, they have a fear of getting stuck in negative emotions. That makes so much sense. They tend to disconnect from their deeper feelings instead of focusing on their imagination and zest for life to keep them moving forward and gathering new pleasurable experiences. Sevens aim to fill every minute with an activity. They approach life as an endless roller coaster of fun, joyous experiences. And if not fun, at least not sad, bored, anxious, depressed, or painful. Sevens use their charm, enthusiasm, imagination, and positive attitude to get as much enjoyment as possible out of every moment of life. Ideally, a seven aspires to ride a continuous high, avoiding the drearier aspects of reality. I think this is accurate. Wow. Type 7 is described as the enthusiast. Sevens want to have as much fun and adventure as possible and are easily bored. Optimism. Your dedication to a glass half full mentality keeps you going when others might give up and gives you the courage to try things that many might see as too risky. You genuinely believe that things usually work out for the best and with your determination to make things go your way, this is often a self-fulfilling prophecy. You have a tendency to be optimistic even when things are dire, and sometimes this means that you gloss over the negative and are taken by surprise when problems arise. When it comes to important plans, be sure to take time to think about how things could go wrong, even if it feels unnatural and overly pessimistic. My basic fear is being deprived and in pain. Basic desire to be satisfied and content to have their needs fulfilled. Key motivations. They want to maintain their freedom and happiness to avoid missing out on worthwhile experiences, to keep themselves excited and occupied, to avoid and discharge pain. Sevens are extroverted, optimistic, versatile, and spontaneous, playful, high-spirited, and practical. They constantly seek new and exciting experiences, but they can become distracted and exhausted by staying on the go. At their best, they focus their talents on worthwhile goals, becoming appreciative, joyous, and satisfied. Oh my god! Hold on. Examples of type seven. Thomas Jefferson. Ah, wait. <laughs> yes. I've been obsessed with Hamilton. I don't know about you, but I have always been obsessed with Hamilton. Um, and Thomas Jefferson is like one of the best. I have the same Enneagram type as Thomas Jefferson. Wow, that made my day. Huh. Who else? We have Miley Cyrus, Mick Jagger. Elton John, Simon Cowell, woo, dad. Simon Cowell is an enthusiast, what? Sevens approach life with curiosity, optimism, and a sense of adventure like kids in a candy store who look at the world in wide-eyed 
rapt anticipation of all the good things they are about to experience. They are bold and vivacious, pursuing what they want in life with a cheerful determination. Seven's wide-ranging curiosity and ability to learn quickly can also create problems. The type most prone to addiction, stimulants, caffeine, cocaine, and amphetamines, ecstasy, psychotropics, narcotics, and alcohol, but tend to avoid other depressants, wear body out with effort to stay up, excessive cosmetic surgery, and painkillers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those are my addictions. That's scary. Personal growth recommendations. Recognize your impulsiveness and get in the habit of observing your impulses rather than giving in to them. Learn to listen to other people. They are often interesting and you may learn things that open new doors to you. That is something I work on because I'm always just like too excited. Like I'm literally like a puppy. Like I get too excited that I just start running around talking and I forget to listen to people and I know I'm bad at that so I'm sorry to all my friends but I have realized this and I'm working on it, I promise. You do not have to have everything in this moment. I know, I'm, I'm bad with that too. Make sure that what you want will really be good for you in the long run. That is everything about type sevens. So now I'm gonna see you tomorrow when I live my day as my Enneagram. Good morning, I just woke up and today is the day we're living like my Enneagram. Found a couple um, different things on Instagram and Pinterest that I'm looking at for reference. This one is what I'm looking at right now. I put on a hoodie, even though it's Florida, because it's cold in my house. And it also says sweet iced coffee. So I'm going to go get some iced coffee for breakfast. Part of it says podcast and snack. So once I get like my breakfast, I'm gonna come back here and listen to a podcast while I eat it. I just got back. I got myself a vanilla iced coffee and a almond croissant. So I'm gonna listen to a podcast while I eat my breakfast. Also, I usually get an iced latte. However, my Enneagram thing that I found said sweet iced coffee, so we changed it up today. And the podcast I'm listening to is Gretchen Garrity because I love her to death. And I started listening to her podcast about getting their puppy, Brody, the golden retriever. Oh my God, he's so cute. But I never finished that podcast, so I'm gonna finish it right now. I'm trying to think of like what my wing is, you know? I feel like I'm a seven wing six because I have gotten a six before, so that would make the most sense. But I also feel like I can relate to an eight. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. So I saw this picture because apparently type sevens don't like to check their bank account. I actually don't mind checking my bank account because I am working, so I like seeing the money go up, right? So, yeah, I checked my bank account to do this Enneagram thing. Oh, God. Uh, last week, I found out that someone stole over $1,300 out of my bank account, okay? Because here's what happened. I go back to June 29th, someone stole $662 out of my account. I then had it happen to me again on July 9th. Someone stole $662 out of my bank account. And today, I'm just checking my bank account for like Enneagram purposes. <laughs> Guess what happened? Another $662 was stolen out of my bank account. If you're the mother that is stealing this much money out of my account, I will find you and have you arrested. Like, I'm this pissed right now that I will dedicate my time, like criminal minds find you, hunt you down, and get you arrested. Like, I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. Now I now have to get on the phone with Citibank again because more money has been stolen out of my account. I literally don't know who's stealing this money. Okie dokie, so I just got off the phone with Citibank. It literally took too long but they gave me my money back. That was not on my plan of things to do for the day. But now we're back on track with our seven day. Okay, I just did my makeup for work. I also FaceTimed my friend, Sam, because sevens like to FaceTime, but I FaceTimed her anyway. I honestly think FaceTime's a little awkward sometimes. Like I'd rather be with friends in person. However, corona season and i'm in a completely different state than most of my friends actually than all of my friends i read somewhere that sevens like to bullet journal so i'm gonna work on my bullet journal a little bit my bullet journal is actually terrible because i suck at drawing but i like doing it anyway which is interesting so i'm gonna work on my bullet journal and listen to some hamilton because i'm obsessed 
I am heading to work. I wanted to check in because I found a couple songs for Sevens on Instagram. So here's the list of them that I found. And so I'm gonna listen to those songs while I'm in the car on my way to work. I just got home from work. The sun is obviously setting. I worked longer than I was supposed to today. On this picture it says afternoon drive. I did go for an afternoon drive to and from work. It's a little different, but I do have fun on my drives to work, I promise. So I saw this little book list by Enneagram type and the seven is the seven laws of enough, which I've heard of before. So I decided why not order it? I know nothing about the book. I just know I've heard of it. And it says it's for my Enneagram type. So I'm gonna order it on Amazon. This is just the description, but I'm gonna order it right now. The Seven Laws of Enough is about the most radical kind of change at the personal, organizational, and societal level. A shift from scarcity to sustainable abundance. These seven principles pioneered by leadership consultants, Gina LaRoche, and Jennifer Cohen guide readers on a transformational journey of self-discovery towards a new leadership strategies and a renewed sense of fulfillment and purpose. That's the book I'm ordering, um, which it sounds fun. I'm really like interested in it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you wanna see more of my face. Also, this video gave me some inspiration. Now that I really am fascinated by the Enneagram, I wanna learn all about the other types and all the things. And so let me know if you wanna see like an Enneagram series. Let me know. Could be fun if you guys want to see it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.